Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 1st to the 15th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Aquarius, March 1st to the 15th, 2022, Aquarius. Angels and spirit guides. So we have here the magician, the lovers, and the High Priestess. There's such power to us coming forward. And this is the theme for the whole entire reading. There's a sense of, I'm claiming this. People are seeing me claiming this. There's a certain power to us during this time, Aquarius. And yet so much is happening behind the scenes. And we're kind of, we're falling in love with things again, but we're also seeing a love, a spark. There can be somebody that we're really connecting to on a, a spiritual level. It's going to happen kind of spiritually first or, you know, kind of it's going to be through ideas. It's going to be through, you know, concept. It's going to be through something other than just like a physical, really strong attraction. This might not be somebody who we become physically attracted to at all or have a romantic relationship with at all. This is somebody who really does inspire us. So this is going to be, there's a very powerful pull forward here for us. So that's, that's really beautiful. Now let's look at the energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly. So this is Sagittarius energy. This is this is like all of a sudden we get caught up in these ideas. We get caught up in, in this certain way of seeing things and this this person's way of of seeing things or something to that effect. And it's like, oh my gosh, now this is gospel truth, right? This is just the way it's supposed to be. And Spirit is saying here, like, slow down a little bit. This person is going to be inspiring, but we also need to weed out what doesn't work for us, what does work for us, and see where it is and how it is that we need to move forward for us emotionally, spiritually, personally. And let's look at our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides. This is inspiration. This is the sacral chakra. There's something that's coming to light, and it's, it's something that again has been kind of pushed aside and there's some sort of new spark, new idea that's coming forward. Now the sacral chakra is complicated because it's where not only, you know, all our creative energy and sensual energy is held, but it's where a lot of the negativity from this life and past lives are held. So it's like, as this new dawn's coming forward, there's a certain energy that's trying to pull us back to say, oh no, you can't, like you can't possibly move forward that way or you can't possibly do that. But there's such a power here of a veil being lifted, like we're seeing something so much more openly, so much more honestly, so much more right for us. So it's this, and then it's this pile, and then it's this pile. Okay. So here we have Capricorn energy. We have the devil come forward. We have the six of wands. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. And then we have the ten of cups, the seven of wands, the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords. So there is quite a lot going on here as we're looking at, well, there's quite a lot here at our beginning anyway. So there's such this sense of a power coming in and yet the, the devil comes forward and this is what we're addicted to. These are our our fears coming forward. But this is also just natural chaos coming forward. The Horned One is in in mythology, you know, it's the god of the forest. So it's it's chaos coming in. And there's something coming in here that's going to be like, you can't. And it has to do with the sense of, I've been fighting for so long. I'm carrying such a heavy weight. You know, don't you know I don't have time for this? 
there's almost an energy of like I can there's like this inspiration that's coming forward but I just see it like a slamming of a door it's like no I'm not ready for it it's it's, it's almost like Scrooge McDuck si- sitting <laughs> Scrooge McDuck yeah of course um sitting at a desk like no I, I don't want that blessing you know coming in and yet there's there's just such a power of needing that blessing to come forward during this time and yet we're going to be pulled in such a different direction that we have to be mindful about that, that it's almost going to feel like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Like you're taking my time now, like this needs to be done. And then it moves us to this place of, of like a message comes through and it comes through in the most innocuous way. It comes through in the, in the calmest, quietest way. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, I should be paying attention, shouldn't I? And it's something that reminds us. It could be a scent. It could be a food. It, it has something to do. It has very to do with either taste or with smell coming coming forward. And and that might be, ring true for one very specific person. But all of a sudden, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm put back into a place where it's like, it's calmer. And as as that comes forward, we start to celebrate ourselves again. We start to celebrate ourselves because we're realizing that we have this key. We have what we desire. We have what we want. And there's a blessing coming for us. There's maybe a new definition of happiness coming into our lives. But as we're looking at the happiness, as we're looking at what's really important, it's like, okay, okay, maybe maybe things need to change. Like maybe I need to change things up. And as I change things up, I start to see me. You know, I start to see my happiness. I start to see my joy. And maybe it's not the way I expected it to be. But does that mean it's wrong? And it's like, no, it doesn't mean it's wrong at all. So something comes in and it, it really does take us by surprise. Be, be aware of two very kind of like opposite earth sign energies, both very grounded, both very stubborn energies coming forward, just like very, very stubborn here, Aquarius. But one is going to, one is going to be just a little bit lighter and gentler. The other one is going to have us seeing a lot of truths about ourselves that are really a lot more intense. So just be mindful of this. Like the other one has like this, like opens the book almost. And the other one is sitting there pointing at the paragraph going, read this, read this, read this. So just be aware of that because that's a little intense. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, there's somebody here who's, who's kind of jumping up and down. Angels and spirit guides. Let's see. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. This is the person that we're married to, divorced from. For somebody, it is. For somebody, this is a person from a past relationship or something like that coming in. And it's like, look at this, look at this, look at this. So maybe not even. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if this is a past relationship, there is something that you're saying, oh, well, this was my fault. Like, this was my fault. This was my fault. And you've carried that with you for a really long time. This is a time where we start to let it go. Like, and we fought against that person's words for a really long time. And it doesn't have to be that this was a partner. This could be like a mother-in-law, a father-in-law, you know, somebody like that. But they, they put a, a hurtful, hateful seed and they, and they, and they just like, let it run. Ooh, they're, they're really rather vile. Okay. So we have the Ten of Swords the queen of cups, the 10 of cups, we have the 10 of cups. Again, there's a real blessing coming forward, the eight of swords. So we're going to get in our own heads. And there is a sense of feeling betrayed and overwhelmed, a darkness before the dawn comes in. And that's going to be, that's going to be a trying moment for us. There's going to be something here where it's like, I'm in my own head. I'm looking at this again. I'm, we're going to take it Aquarius and that have it just be all our fault. And we have to be very mindful about that because there's a healing, loving energy that comes forward. And as it comes forward, we get to start to redefine what happiness means for us, what you know prosperity means for us, what joy means for us. And all of a sudden, we get to move forward in a way that's like, oh, that's what I wanted. Like, that's what I'm missing. This is just, I just see this as a very lovely woman coming in. And it doesn't have to be a woman. It could be somebody who's just has very feminine energy, but it's a very lovely woman. She's very calm. She's very quiet, okay? And she just has has a healing energy around her. You might not be with this person for a long time. Like you might just be kind of like standing next to each other at the grocery store or something like that. And just being around her makes you feel calmer, makes you feel more centered. 
And that's going to be really important. So there's something here where it's like, it brings me back to my center. And we keep on being told, go back to your center. Go back to your center. Okay. Yeah. It's like you hold more of the key than you realize. And that's what's at our our root right here. We have we have the we have the connection, the lovers of of the spiritual world coming in. And we have the lovers right here, right? So it's the magician and the high priestess. The magician is before, you know, everyone is claiming this power, claiming this authority, claiming this prosperity. And the high priestess is more like the Oracle of Delphi, right? She's behind the scenes. You don't see her. You hear her and you're guided by her. And so there's this energy that's coming forward here where it's like, oh, I didn't see this. I only saw like one part of it. But now this other part is, is being unlocked for me. Ace of Pentacles and the Strength card. So the Ace of Pentacles is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift of wealth and prosperity. There's new seeds to be planted. There's new bounty to come. And we have to have the time to plant it, to see it, to, to embrace it. With the Strength card, it's like the Strength comes forward. This is Leo energy. The Strength comes forward. And sometimes we do have to stand our ground. You know, sometimes we do have to say yes to this and no to this. And I am moving forward this way. But also with the with the strength card, it's like I'm embracing my inner strength, what I desire, what I want, what I need. I'm finding that I'm a heck of a lot stronger than I thought. And that becomes the game changer here. It's like all of a sudden, all of a sudden something is opened and it's like, I didn't realize I had that strength. I didn't realize I had that power. But also I didn't realize I had that support. And it doesn't necessarily have to be from an outside source, though it can very well be and that would be very much appreciated. But it can also be from my inner self and from my connection with angels and spirits and with my angels and my spirit guides. And, you know, with divinity, it's like a door has been opened. Are we willing to walk through it? Are we willing to take this blessing and plant it and grow and see what becomes? Because there's something here where we're being given it. And it's just like, it's like magic. It is like magic. It's like the seeds are, are being planted. We, we have this gift right at the root of everything. And it's like, Am I walking forward? Am I embracing it? Can I can I have this? Can I do this? And there's a strength to us that's coming forward that we didn't even know we had. And it's it's changing the game. And it's changing the game and we're falling in love. Okay. Okay. All right, Aquarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Did we do the subconscious energy? Of course not. So the subconscious energy here is the king of pentacles. The subconscious energy to be mindful of is the king of pentacles. Do not let, do not let the value of things dictate your value of things. You know, what worth you put on it. Because there's somebody here who's saying like, wipe the slate clean. That's why spirit had me clear off the cards. You know, it's kind of like, wipe the slate clean. Look at what's important. It brings us then to, to listening, to the throat chakra. The chakra energy here is of listening. Where everybody else is talking, now we become silent, now we hear, now we, we gain an understanding. And then the tarot is telling us that the world is opening. The world is opening through, through the beauty, through the magic, through, <clears throat> excuse me, through insights coming our way that we hadn't seen before. And it brings us then to the Ace of Cups, a gift that we take because we had the magician right at the top of the story. God's source spirit, however you see the divine universe, hands a gift, heals our hearts. There's a sense of, of love settling us, connecting with us, guiding us forward. It moves us then into the Six of Swords. We're taking the knowledge that we have learned and we're moving in a very new way. And the, there, there's like going to be emotional bumps along the way, but that's going to be okay. It's like we're smarter, we're wiser than we have given ourselves credit for it, and we're done. We're done with playing second fiddle. It moves us then to the world once again. We have the world opening to us twice now. A door opens. There's a way forward. And it's like, I didn't think of this. I didn't think this could be. And now it's a game changer. Now it's a game changer. Also, we're saying, what do I want for my world? Where do I want to be? You know, what's important to me? What isn't? But it, what it, what's happening here is like, there's a new way forward. And we 
hadn't thought that that was even a possibility. And I don't know what exactly that is, but it's like, it's a spark that we were born with. It's something that was really important to us once upon a time, like when we were younger. And now we're starting to connect with it again. And now it's like, but this is important to me. This is valuable to me. I'm not, I'm not walking away from it. I'm not giving up on it. I'm, I'm not turning my back like I did once before because somebody mocked me or made fun of me or, you know, didn't understand or told me I wasn't really talented at it. It's like, no, 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 no. All right. All right, Aquarius. I hope this reading has resonate, resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power and the intensity of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. be blessed.